In this video, we will look at finding the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. We know that parallel lines have the same slope, and perpendicular have opposite reciprocal slopes. Once we know the slope and a point on the line, we can use it to find the equation with the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, or the point-slope equation. For example, if I wanted to find the equation of the line parallel to 2x plus 2x minus 5y equals 3, we would first need to know the slope of this line. To find the slope, we must solve it for y to put it in intercept form. Subtracting 2x from both sides gives us negative 5y equals negative 2x plus 3. Dividing both sides by negative 5, dividing every term by negative 5, gives us y equals 2 fifths x minus 3 fifths. The important part of this equation will be the slope. The parallel line that we are given has a slope of 2 fifths. My line, then, to be parallel, must have the same exact slope, or a slope of 2 fifths. Now that we know my slope is 2 fifths, and we have a point that's on the line, we're ready to come up with the equation of the line. Because we don't know the y-intercept, we have to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in what we know, y minus y1, the point we're given, is 3, equals m, a slope of 2 fifths, times x minus x1, which we were given is 5. To put this in slope-intercept form, we would start by distributing through the parentheses. y minus 3 is 2 fifths x minus 2. We finally get the y alone by adding 3 to both sides. This gives us our final equation, y equals 2 fifths x plus 1. This is our parallel line. Notice as we did this, we did not care what the y-intercept was on the original line. All we needed from it was the slope. Let's try another example, where we use the relationship of a perpendicular line. Here, we're given the equation 3x plus 2y equals 5. To be perpendicular, we need an opposite reciprocal slope. Start finding the slope by solving for y. Subtract 3x from both sides, and 2y equals negative 3x plus 5. Get the y alone by dividing each term by 2, and y equals negative 3 halves x, plus 5 halves. This is our perpendicular line, and what we care about on the perpendicular line is the slope of negative 3 halves, which means my slope, to be perpendicular, has to be the opposite reciprocal, or positive 2 over 3. Using my slope and the point we want to hit on the line, we can find our equation from y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in our key information, y minus negative 4 becomes plus 4 equals 2 thirds times x minus negative 3 becomes positive 3. To get an intercept form, we distribute through the parentheses, and y plus 4 equals 2 thirds x plus 2. Subtracting 4 from both sides to get the y alone, and in an intercept form, the perpendicular line is 2 thirds x minus 2. By first identifying the slope, we can quickly find the equation of our line. 